This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, it's snowing out here, but that's not going to stop me from trying to catch some fish. Let's get down here and float fish by the log and see if we can get a bite. I got to put another jacket on. It's that cold out here, so I got two coats on now. Sorry about the extra coat noise if there is any. All right, the water looks a little bit high. I'm not really seeing much activity. There was a shad over there. It's snowing and you can see all this smoke on the water. That means the water is a little bit warmer than the air, which is a good thing. Anyway, let's get rigged up and see if we can catch anything over here by this tree. I've got two lures to choose from today. I got this panfish magnet kit that we'll try, as well as gulp helgramites. And I think we're going to start with the helgramite. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, check it out. It's like a little nymph or a pre-stage fly or whatever you want to call this. I'm going to fish that on the panfish magnet jig head. Let's see if I can get it on there nice and straight. I got it set at about five feet deep. Let's see if we can get a bite. It might take a second for that jig head to sink because I'm not fishing with any additional weights. Oh, I don't know if I had a bite right off the bat or what. I still got my bait though. Let's make sure it's nice and straight. Let's get it back out there. Man, it's cold today. Man, this wind is blowing right in my face too. Look at all the snowflakes coming towards the camera. Fish, first fish of the day. Got a small bluegill. Not that small, five or six inches. But check it out, cold water, the bluegill is losing color. I have a feeling I'll get a few of these today, these pale silver kind of purple bluegill. We'll see though. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Still got my bait, Gulp Helgramite. Let's get it straightened out, get it back out there. So far that's one fish in the snow, and it is cold. Is that a bite? Remember, if I don't get a lot of action on this, I can switch to the panfish magnet, which is basically a slightly larger trout magnet. There we go, out there by that log. Hopefully that helps. I would love to get a crappie on this Helgramite thing. I don't know if they'll go for it or not. We'll see. fish. Got another one. Another pale bluegill, just like that other one. Yeah, he's cold. He feels cold in my hands. 
There we go. Pretty much like that other one. That's two fish. Let's keep going. My hands are like icicles. I still haven't found a good pair of gloves that will keep my hands warm, but still, you know, give me the tactile function to mess with little baits and pick up fish. Missed a bite there. I was yapping. And I apologize if snow or water gets on the lens. I can't stop it from snowing. Every once in a while, I'm just gonna give it a little twitch because that little Helgramite doesn't have any action on its own. It might bob a little with the float, but it doesn't do anything. It's just a piece of plastic. Fish on. After that twitch, another pale colored bluegill. Starting to see a pattern here. That could easily be mistaken for the other fish I caught. Got a school of these down there. I would even love a surprise fish like a tilapia. People say they're in here, but I've never caught one. There's a nibble. Missed him. Oh, look at that. He stole the tail off my bait. That's okay. I'm going to fish it just like this. Half a Helgramite. This is Charles with Hook 'em in the Mouth Kayak Fishing. And you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Come on, half a Helgramite. Let's get something. After this, we'll switch it up to the panfish magnet. See if I get any different results with that. So far I'm getting, you know, pale five, six inch bluegill. It's just a fun experiment being out here in the freezing cold, seeing what these fish will go for. All right, one more cast with the half gramite. Then we'll switch it up to the panfish magnet. Fish on. Fish on with the half gramite. Same kind of bluegill. This one has a bit more yellow color to it. There we go. A little bit better. A little bit more color. Holy cow, I just caught a fish while my bait was sitting in the water while I took that other fish off. I got a tiny green sunfish. Wasn't even trying. Green sunfish, half Helgramite. Wow, that was kind of crazy. Let's get it back out there. I'm in the danger zone for snagging logs right there, but we're gonna let it sit and see what happens fish. Another bluegill just like those first few. Six inch bluegill here. Muted colors. Don't jump out of my hands bro. Here he is. Wow my hands are really getting cold. We're changing it up. We're going with the panfish magnet kit. What color? What color? 
chartreuse, gold, brown, green, golden, black. Hmm. We'll try chartreuse. Hopefully it's easy to see and the fish will go for it. If I don't get any bites on this color, we'll switch it up. Maybe we'll try gold. There we go. Panfish magnet. Let's see if we can get a fish on this. Come on, no snag. I should also point out that the panfish magnet has no scent. But I already caught one. There we go. Very similar to the other fish. Just a little guy. Hi, I'm John from Northern Grit and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Ooh, that's dangerously close to the log, but we're gonna go with it. If I'm gonna get a crappie, I think it's gonna be out there close to that log. There's a nibble. Come on, take it. Got him. Feels like a good one. It's a crappie. Hells yeah, black nose crappie. Yeah, that's a nice catch. Yeah, check it out. Black nose crappie. How can you tell? See, he's got that little Charlie Chaplin mustache and that black stripe up its back. It even goes down his chin, right? Check that out. Black nose crappie, I'd say about nine inches. That's a good fish. I was hoping to get one, and I did. All right, cool, I got a crappie on the panfish magnet. Let's keep going. I'd love to get another one. Well, it seems like they've turned off as far as this panfish magnet goes. We're gonna change colors in just a minute here. I don't know if it got too cold or too dark or what happened, but this bite just shut down. I'm gonna take this float off and I'm gonna fish just the magnet and the jig head for a minute. We'll see if I can get a bite that way. I don't even know if I'll be able to cast it out there. Now I'm gonna let it sink. I'm holding my rod tip low to the water so the wind doesn't take my line and start drifting my bait away. Here we go. Twitch, twitch, pause. fish. Largemouth bass. This is probably the biggest bass I've caught in a while. Got about a half pounder here. Yeah, check it out. Got a small largemouth bass here. I don't know, somewhere around a half a pound. Not very big, but I'm still happy to get them. I got him out there fishing a panfish magnet without a float. Good looking fish here, let's let him go.
Let's go the other way. Nice. Hey, it's Josh from the One Ton Fishing Club. Hi, it's Jared from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, what's up? This is Kyle from One Ton Fishing Club. Hey, this is Art from One Ton Fishing Club. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Come on, one more. Oh. oh man, I give up. It's time to go. Well, despite it being so cold out, I think I did fairly well. On the Helgramite, I got a handful of bluegill. And on the panfish magnet, I got some bluegill as well as a black nosed crappie. I think I even got a green sunfish in there somewhere. It's been a challenge today fishing in the cold weather. But I had a good time, and I'm happy I came out. Thanks for watching. Realistic fishing. Keep it realistic.